A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa received at Sahir Palace yesterday the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Indonesia, Jordan and Austria. The ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia, Nur Syahir Raharjo, arrived at Asakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador. The ambassador of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, Rami Saleh El Rakat Al Adwan, arrived at Asakir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the Ambassador of Jordan and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the Ambassador. The ambassador of Austria, Dr. Sigurd Pacher, arrived at Al-Sakir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for him. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty and the ambassador. His Majesty hailed the relations between Bahrain and their brotherly and friendly countries and their progress in all fields, wishing the ambassador success in their diplomatic duties of enhancing cooperation with the kingdom. The ambassadors conveyed their greetings of their country's leaders and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom commending the ties between Bahrain and their friendly countries. Also present were the personal representative of His Majesty the King, the Minister of Royal Court, the Foreign Affairs Minister and the Royal Protocol's Chief.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa received yesterday at Sakir Palace the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, Sheikh Hamid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, where she briefed His Majesty about BACA's plans for 2018, when Maharak will be named as the capital of Islamic culture. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the authority, affirming the importance of maintaining Bahraini heritage and history. He wished the BACA and its affiliates further progress and success. Sheikh Hamey affirmed the importance of investing in cultural projects and the establishment of cultural infrastructure. She expressed thanks and appreciation for the support of His Majesty for the projects of Maharak, the capital of Islamic culture, 2018, which will be inaugurated in January next year. She also noted that the opening of the Pearl Path, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, will be on the 28th of November, 2018. The opening will coincide with the Islamic Conference of Culture Ministers. The BACA president added that the agenda of the 2018 Islamic Cultural Capital Program will include a number of activities that shed light on the cultural components of Maharak. The programs will reflect Islamic enlightenment, arts and architecture. Sheikh Hamey said the authority is working on a proposal to register Manama as on UNESCO's World Heritage List as a city for interfaith coexistence, as it is home to Muslim, Christian, Jewish and Hindu houses of worship, as well as the kingdom's first school, hospital, trade center and traditional markets. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabiya Palace the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar, and the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Essam bin Abdullah Khalaf. Following up on development projects in Al Daraz, Janassan, Sitra, and the Northern City, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister ordered an increase in the share of Al Daraz residents from the Northern City to accommodate housing applicants. He was briefed on a Ministry of Housing study about implementation of the Daraz housing project and directed the completion of technical aspects in coordination with relevant government bodies. He said to consider aesthetic form in the planning process and make use of lands in an effective developmental manner as well as allocate spaces to establish more gardens. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed the importance of implementing all projects that aim to develop and serve citizens according to prepared work schedules, urging completion of technical studies on projects that aim to develop villages and establish new cities in order to meet the needs of citizens. His Royal Highness said the government spares no effort to provide services to citizens and is keen to improve services in the interests of citizens.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today at Rifa'a Palace, Bahrain's newly appointed ambassador to the United States of America, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has strengthened its position in the region through an approach based on advancing cooperation with key allies to enhance peace and development. His Royal Highness praised the deep-rooted ties between Bahrain and the U.S. across various sectors and noted the importance of building upon these relations through collaboration to enhance the growth and prosperity of both countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated the Ambassador on his new appointment, wishing him success in his future diplomatic endeavours and emphasising the importance of his role in advancing relations with one of Bahrain's strongest global allies. In response, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and thanked him for his continued support. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Imam bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today at Rifa Palace the Ambassador of the Republic of Sudan to Bahrain, Abdurrahman Khalil Ahmed, upon the completion of his diplomatic mission in the country. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of enhancing Bahraini-Sudanese relations and commended the progress of bilateral relations under the tenure of the ambassador, wishing him success in his future missions. The two sides discussed the latest regional and international developments. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his keenness to develop bilateral ties. He wished the kingdom further progress and success under its wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held his weekly majlis today at Rifa Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats all attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, demonstrating Bahrain's commitment to its deep-rooted traditions and values, that are underpinned by His Majesty the King's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahraini society. The visitors expressed their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasised the important role he plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. The joint drill to combat terrorism, Hassan One, concluded today in the presence of Commander of the Royal Guard Special Forces, His Highness Major General Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the participation of the Royal Guard, Royal Guard Special Forces, Royal Navy Forces, National Guard and Ministry of Interior. The drill is the first of its kind to combat terrorism and included five different units from three ministries. The drill commenced with a speech and a film screening about the exercises. Sheikh Khalid handed out certificates to the participants and commended their distinguished performance. He affirmed that this exercise, which brings together national competencies and experts in combating terrorism, will contribute to advance the skills of the participants. The latest technologies and night and daytime training techniques will be employed to increase professionalism in combating terrorism on the national level. The commander of the National Guard praised the level of the drill, noting that it receives continuous support due to the importance of continually improving military units to allow them to carry out their duties professionally. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the participants for their efforts during the exercise. He also thanked the officers, non-commissioned officers and trainers who were in charge of the drill, wishing them further success and progress. President of Bahrain Basketball Association, the BBA, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Education, Majid bin Ali Naemi, during his visit to the Ministry. He commended the efforts of the Education Minister to enhance education in the Kingdom. For his part, Al Naemi expressed pride in Sheikh Isa's visit, which reflects his keen interest in keeping up the comprehensive development march of the Kingdom during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Education Minister briefed Sheikh Isa about the Ministry's developmental projects. They also discussed ways of enhancing cooperation.
upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, assigning a number of ministers who represent various service sectors to visit Amal Hassan to inspect the needs of its residents and follow up on implemented and ongoing projects. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al-Naimi, met with Representatives Council member Abdurrahman Abu Majid, the Deputy Governor of the Capital, Hassan al-Madani, Deputy Chairman of the Board of the Capital, Municipality, Mazen al-Imran, and a number of officials in the Governorate and Municipality at Amal Hassan Primary Boys' School. The audience listened to an explanation from the Minister of Education about the educational services provided by the Ministry in the Governorate, its preparations for the new school year, and its efforts to implement comprehensive and preventative maintenance in schools. The attendees agreed on implementing a joint project between the Ministry of Education and the Capital Governorate on benefiting from educational establishments during the evening to support programs for the youth. The attendees also agreed to form a joint committee between the Ministry and Capital Municipality to study the proposal of using parking lots in schools close to Manama Souk. The Minister noted that the meeting resulted in enhancing cooperation between the Ministry of Education and its related entities, affirming that the Ministry is keen on cooperating with community institutions in the interests of students and their parents. For their part, the attendees expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's directives to meet educational needs of the residents of Amal Hassan, hailing the educational services provided by the Ministry to students and the developmental programs implemented for various educational stages. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, to conduct field visits to Al-Daraz and its neighbouring villages to ensure resident service and facilities needs are being met and listen to their service development project requirements, the Minister of Housing, Bassem bin Yaqub al Hamar, affirmed that the Ministry will exert all efforts and act as soon as possible to implement the directives of His Royal Highness. He added that the Ministry is keen to implement the directives of His Royal Highness and will take action as soon as possible. The Minister stated that His Royal Highness's directives reflect his concern and continuous follow up for citizens' needs and his keenness to develop services. He hailed the unlimited support of His Royal Highness to the Ministry of Housing and his follow up on housing projects. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, to, to conduct field visits to towns and villages, the Minister of Health, Faika bin Saeed al Salah, visited Al Daraz village and Al Badea Medical Center today, where she visited Al Asfur Diwan to inspect the medical needs of Al Daraz residents and to ensure the adequacy of and development of health services. The Minister was received by former Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Asfur, Representatives Council Member Fatima Al Asfur, and Municipal Council Member Fatima Al Khatari, along with a number of officials in Al Daraz village. The Minister hailed the directives of His Royal Highness and is keenest to provide the best medical services to the residents of the village. The Minister visited Al Badea Medical Center in the presence of senior officials from the Ministry of Health, where she met with a number of citizens who commended the services provided to them in the center, as well as expressing their thanks and appreciation to the medical crew. For their part, the attendees and Al Daraz residents expressed thanks to the Minister for her visit praising His Royal Highness's interest in developing the services in the village and meeting all residents' needs. A very good evening and watching the business news in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain Oce index closed today at 1,337.68 points, marking an increase of 3.02 points above the previous closing. The increase was due to a rise in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 68.07% of the total value of traded shares. 54 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,284,845 worth 354,567 Bahraini dinars. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussain Mirza received Chief Executive Officer of AGE Amir Al Hassan and Advisor to the Ministry of Energy in Jordan, Mohammed Al Dabbas. They will take part in the first Solar Energy Investment Exhibition and Forum to be held from September 17th to 19th at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center under the patronage of the Minister. 
Mirza stressed that national platforms and entrepreneurs constitute an important pillar of economic growth as it seeks to activate the principles of community partnership to activate sustainable energy use to achieve the welfare of the citizens and open the horizons of investment.